What's up guys, we're back again at this uh, super hot creek that I've had a lot of luck in early this year. And um, just been in here about 10 minutes, but I've already got this one little crude, crude point. And uh, walking around this field, looks like I got a heartbreaker right here. Yep. Another, uh, maybe a little bear creek or something, but talk about just being eat up with flakes right here. This field is just covered up with flakes. So we're uh, we're gonna give it a good looking today, see if we can't find something nice, but thank y'all for watching, stay tuned. All right, there's that little good wash that's just spitting out all kinds of flakes, working my way around and boom. And there's a little broken one. Yep. Some pretty flint. A little heartbreaker, but I know there's some good ones in here, so we'll keep on. Okay, it's been about a month since I've walked, maybe two months since I've walked this, this creek. We've had a little bit of rain since then, but this one particular wash right here coming out of the field has had a point in it every time that I've been, been through here. You can go look at my videos. And uh, I'm just walking back down through here. Let's see where to go. And I just spotted another one. If I can find it, get it at the right angle here. Let's see, where'd you go? Camouflaged. Let's see. There she is. Pretty well hidden right there. All right. Looks like another stem point. And this is right, right where a snake, I just ran a snake right off in this ditch. I need to look out for that dang snake. Let's go ahead and pull this point. Uh, she's pretty much all there. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's a little, decent little point. Looks like it could have been broke and reworked, but I think it may be like a little a uh, little bear creek section that i'm in right here it seems to be most what i find in here woodland period but um i will take that all right so this bank right here is just covered up with flakes but i just laid my bag down did find this little piece of i don't know if it's pottery or it could be later later crockery but it's kind of glossy but uh just laid my bag down and um let's see i'm losing stuff today where'd that thing go here it is Laying out there, covered up a little bit. Damn, man, that would have been nice. Got a few little dings on it. Killer little blade, well made. Missing, that uh, tip's actually rounded off a little bit, but the base is kind of, kind of broke off. But man, that would have been a killer little piece right there. Nice flaking on it. All right, maybe we'll uh, run into something else. All right, so I just found this little blade laying right there, right here where my bag is, and I looked up on the bank. Bam. Tony's it's just rolling out of this bank right here. Yeah, I like that flint right there. I've got a complete point that looks almost just like that. But we may have to scratch around in this little bank right here. I mean, there is, I mean, just down here, just a flake. I mean, I'm talking flakes like nobody's business. So we may scratch around on this bank a little bit, but we'll uh, let you know if we find something else. Walked up on another one laying right here. Man. Another little stem. All right, so I got up from the creek right there and walked this, walked this bank and around. I was gonna kind of avoid this little jam up in the creek. And I'm glad I did because I might just have a killer little dark one laying here. I hope it's not broke. Oh yeah, that's a stinger, baby. Man, that's a nice point. That's a nice one right there. Yeah, there's all different types of cultures in here. I found woodland. This is probably going to be, I don't know, woodland to... Uh, 
maybe into that Hamilton culture there. It's got little bitty notches on it where they hafted it. I'll have to look that one up, but that's a that's a stinger right there. Beautiful material. That's awesome. Then I just found that lost lake, probably about a hundred feet down this down this bank here. So maybe there'll be another one washed out for me. All right, I'm continuing kind of in this upper part of the bank here. I saw this interesting little rock. It looked like it may have had a divot in it. And I turned it over. It's got a nice one on that side. Sweet little nut and stone just laying right on the surface. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm back here in my hot spot where all the flakes were coming out. And I didn't find anything down there at my Lost Lake site, but looks like I have a twofer down here. I, I just knelt down. I was going to start scratching around right here, and I walked over these earlier. A little twofer. You can see this one right here. Let's go ahead and pick it up. And that's about the story for the day right there. Just snap stem points. But we got another one leaning up right here. Pretty well hidden. I haven't touched it, so let's hope for the best. Oh, man. And there we go again. Just another snapped in half stem point. Looks like another Little Bear Creek. Man. Well, that's probably about seven or eight that look just like that but we'll uh we'll find a good one here soon enough all right here's the cleanup video of that surface hunt yesterday in the creek man i found tons of brokes a couple of various tips and bases and these little stem points man it seems like that was the story of the day just tons of these little Probably late archaic to early woodland stem points just broke right in half. This piece right here, I think it could be like a little eccentric piece. It's it's all there. It's and it's got some polish in these little in the corners there. So I don't know if it could have been like a spoke shave or what they would have used that piece for. But I like stuff like that. And then this little, I think it may be a piece of jasper. It doesn't look like it has any work on it, but it was found right, right with a bunch of flakes. Pretty cool piece. And then we got this blade here. Pretty well worked. Just some good old Fort Payne shirt. This is probably the best point of the day. Not sure what to call it. I think it's probably going to be a a woodland period little dark point or could have been an arrow point, but it's a pretty sweet little point. And this this point here has got made of some pretty nice material. It's got that it seems like most of these points have that cortex still on the base where they just unfinished them, but And then these two points, my dad, he found in his yard at the house that he's remodeling. And I think this could be a, a dovetail. Um, it's got the basal thinning and a little bit rough, but they got their use out of it. And then this one's an awesome little point. It's, I think it's a Kirk serrated. It's got some, I don't know if that's cortex or what that is, but... Um, but it's got that Plano convex cross section. Nice little serrations on that piece. And then here's that nut and stone we found yesterday. Nice little divot, and it's polished all over. So it's always cool to find those pieces. But there's our finds from yesterday. But we're going to get into it a little bit more here in the next couple weeks. So y'all stay tuned, and we thank y'all for watching. God bless.